Ooh, it's a little windy, so uh, you may not be able to hear me, but uh, surrounding this whole area is a very, very rare, very locally endemic species of Areocarpus. Uh, Areocarpus is the genus of living rock cacti. It's like the spines, like peyote and astrophytum. And uh, it just, it, it's amazing how well this blends in with uh, with all this shale, all this Jurassic mudstone. And you can see right here, there's one plant. And they bloom in November, like all the Areocarpus. For a couple of days in November. Ha! So it doesn't look like much. It just looks like you're looking at a bunch of Jurassic uh, calcareous shale, which is mostly what this whole landscape is. But uh, you get a little bit closer and you look, and I guess the only way you'd know to look is if you were here in November when they're blooming, and you start to see that there's actually a plant in there. There's a very rare, locally endemic cactus called Areocarpus scaphorostris. And uh, there, maybe you can start to see, see, you can see the trichomes that fuzz on top where it flowers. And again, it only flowers for a few days in November, sends up a pink bloom. It's gotta be the best sense of camouflage in the entire plant world. I've never seen anything like, I've never seen anything like this. The only way I could tell this was here was seeing a slight mound in the soil and having a friend show me I never would have I never would have seen this. I never would have seen this otherwise. There's actually it looks like three or four plants there. And again, this thing is being poached by creepy cactus collecting nerds uh, who can't appreciate the ecology of it. Uh, but this population seems to be safe. It's pretty protected. But yeah, there you go. There's three or four plants of Areocarpus scaphorostris. God, it's windy as shit. It's blowing me around. Got some shit in my mouth. Dust in my mouth and ice. But I can't help wonder how does how does this how does evolution select for this? I mean, how does it how does a trait like this evolve? It is so fucking wild. I'd love to see these when they're in bloom. I think there's three or four species in the genus, maybe five. Cochubianus, Retusus, Fizzeratus. And uh, maybe one or two more, and then a couple subspecies. Yeah, this wind's a motherfucker. Oh, the Sierra Madre. Sierra Madre Oriental. Anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this soil back when I'm done looking at these. But I'm just, I'm looking at the. The actual foliage or what is what would be the foliage the little parts of the rosette and I'm wondering how it even I mean it's like it the it, I don't barely see any green it looks like the cuticle is just so thick and then of course it's just covered in dust from the shale too that uh, it just looks it blends in perfectly it's so wild how does evolution select for this I don't get it how All right, put this back. Sorry to bother you. Here's one. Oh, I found one. Yeah. Hey, it's a good one. Here's one. And here's one. Oh, Somebody from UNAM tagged. Yeah. And then there's one.
hear it too, and then you start seeing that they're everywhere. And they're actually all over this small little hill. So I'm being stabbed by something in my leg. I think it's some sort of legume. Anyway, there's Aztecium right right. And it's not even growing on rock, it's growing on vertical escarpments of this conglomerate uh, sandstone, which is basically just seems to be an ancient riverbed. And there's Hectia and Gognadia and uh, Acacia and fucking Selaginella lepidophila, which is this resurrection plant everywhere. And there is a tiny one right there. There's that cryptogamic crust again. But this is not, I mean, it's just like calcareous sand, basically, huh? Mm -hmm. It's not gypsum. But the, the crust is placidium. It's the same that we found oh, in yeah? gypsum. Yeah, it's the same as placidium, as I think. Placidium? Yep. Mm -hmm. God, that is crazy up there. Look at all of them. Jesus. Just right into the wall. How do they even germinate? How the fuck does it, how does it germinate? Look at this. <laughs> wow. Wow. Here's wow. The, Holy shit. On lichen crust. Jesus. So that's what happened. You're my siblings. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's look at that. Thing. Jesus. That's okay. You got it? Yeah. I wonder about, how old that is. That's incredible. This is so this is slow wild. Growing. It's slow growing indeed. Wow. Does anybody know how long it takes for them to grow no, this way? I don't think so. I can't even... I don't dare to guess. I don't know. Yeah, all up that whole wall. So this Aztecium ritterite is a very slow growing plant. I've only seen it in cultivation. I've never obviously seen it in the wild because it's such a localized endemic and it occupies such a weird ecological niche. Just these basically, basically vertical exposures of a conglomeratic, I guess, I don't know what you would call this. It's sand, but it's mixed with with uh, Jurassic sedimentary rocks that have been tumbled in this ocean bed, or not ocean bed, river bed, excuse me. So it's basically an ancient river bed uh, made vertical and they're just growing everywhere. They don't, they don't grow anywhere flat. They only grow uh, on this vertical escarpment and the, I'm guessing this cryptogamic crust that covers this whole area has something to do whoa, with how they get established. Should be a nice way to go up. If I die looking at a plant, fuck it, that's the way I want to go. But, uh, yeah, just what a weird, whoa, shit, what a weird plant. And again, this one is one that gets heavily poached, probably because it grows so slow. And, uh, to take the time to grow it from seed, uh, a lot of people are too lazy or they just want to plant from habitat. But it's, it's fucking rotten, regardless. <clears throat> The ones I saw at UCB were, were poached. They were confiscated and then given uh, for their plant collections. So, yeah. One of these, uh, one of these minutes here soon I'm gonna fall and break my ass. Ah! Oh! Holy shit! Jesus Christ, they're everywhere! Now we're drinking this. <laughs> How did you get here? How did you evolve? 
How does this happen? Oh shit. Ooh. I don't want to change the name. Can you get any? Big stupid mouth doesn't even have anything to say. This is just incredible. And how, again, how does how does this happen? Like how does <laughs> how does this evolve? How does this kind of situation evolve? Life is fucking amazing. Life on this planet is fucking amazing. It's such a shame that it's being wiped out by human society and civilization needlessly <laughs> yeah I won't go there right now let's just look at some pretty cake this soon such crazy morphology too look how tiny these guys are look at it again dependent on that cryptogamic crust to germinate and this is all covered in lichen there's another tiny little guy right there bunch of tiny little guys Right there. Hey, talk about an ecological niche, eh? <laughs> it's probably the largest one I've seen. That they rarely get bigger than a golf ball. This one's probably, I don't know, at least 80 years old. Wild guess. <laughs> 